Entry and Introduction Didache is the Greek word meaning teaching or doctrine. The book, the Didache, is also called the Teaching of the Twelve Apostles. It is a treatise consisting of 16 short chapters. The text dates back to the earliest time of the Christian church and was considered by some of the church fathers to be almost as important as the Holy Scriptures. The Didache reveals how the Christians of the first century operated on a day-to-day -day basis. It is not a gospel, and it does not attempt to offer a narrative of the life of Jesus. In fact, some of the theology it contains runs counter to the modern interpretation of the theology in the revealed gospels. The Didache represents the first concerted effort put forth by church leaders to teach the common person of the early church how to live and worship in the way the apostles of Jesus presented to their followers. This was the way of a Jewish Christian. The Didache describes a path by which Gentiles and pagans could be converted, initiated, and brought into the fold to become full participants in a shared Christian life. This unity of process and teaching allowed a community which believed itself to be poised on the threshold of the end times to fashion its daily life in order to share the passion of the awaited return of the kingdom of God as preached by Jesus. In fact, it is the first known instruction manual for Christian converts. There is evidence of its use specifically by Nazarene synagogues to define the standardized and most important points of the new faith. Nazarenes were Jews converted to a sect following Jesus. They were Hellenized Jews of the Syrian border close to Antioch. Certainly, the Didache was used by Jewish Christians, but as Paul influenced the Nazarenes, authors note, the sect of which he was thought to be a leader. His followers diverged from the theology of the Didache. The Pauline Christians evolved into a separate sect, leaving behind the Didache. The Didache appears to be an evolved doctrine, meaning it has been edited, altered, and expanded over time as the early church grew and changed. There are style changes indicating the document was the creation of more than one person. The section of the Didache titled, There Are Two Ways, is the name of an older Jewish document and the first section of the Didache that was amended and used by several early Christian communities. This duality of presentation is also echoed in the Shepherd of Hermas, and the Epistle of Barnabas. The middle two sections of the Didache may be a bit older than the first section. The Didache was discovered in 1873 by Philotheos Brynios, the Metropolitan of Nicomedia. It was contained in a small 11th century codex of 120 pages. He published the text toward the end of 1883. The Didache has been the center of much academic interest and controversy since its discovery. Prior to this time, its existence was known only through references by early writers. Scholars thought the text was lost to history. Church fathers, including Athanasius, Rufinus, and John of Damascus, cited the book as inspired scripture and thus made us aware of the text. The Didache was also accepted into the Apostolic Constitutions Canon, which was written between 250 and 380 C. Hey, Shalom. Oh, praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bashem Rekankudash. Hey, much mercy to you sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that are actually in the spirit and that are growing and understanding this covenant man it's all about uh renewing yourself day by day coming out of carnal camp doctrine and so that's just a little bit on the didache you could say diachi or didache um it's a a document uh, basically it's kind of like a decree that the apostles went by and you can find that um you know just just looking it up going into it but um basically um this was something this was basically a decree something that the new covenant was kind of like built off of is it was a um a, it was part of the doctrine 
of the new covenant in the first century. So uh, very interesting, you know, just something I wanted to um, bring up because uh, the apostles, they were teaching a, a certain doctrine that were bringing in the Gentiles that believed. Uh, one thing is that a lot of you guys don't understand. This is a doctrine for believers. This ain't a doctrine just to get views and likes and, and people to, to get a to get a group or to get um, numbers and shit. This ain't a this this the new covenant ain't about just trying to do this to be seen to the world, man. This is about true believers. And then the the actual Gentiles that believe they're going to really believe this ain't no just some just something to get some views or just something to do and, and post on youtube this is about men really believing in god and then like one of the things too um you know you guys uh talk about the gentiles but then you guys never mention forgive your enemies you never mention that and a lot of you guys are teaching and hate and and a lot of this these the, the work that these camps have done a lot of that, that, that whole work is in vain because a lot of you guys are teaching in hate. You're teaching without being in the covenant. You're teaching men that you're waiting to get in the, the, the next covenant. That's what you guys are teaching because we listen to you guys, not for edification, but just to just to see that you guys are just are are, are leading many men to, to destruction because you're teaching in a way where you're you're trying to add the Lord in there, but then you're trying to keep your following and then you're trying to keep your channel and then you're trying to keep your place in the world. But then at the same time, teach the Bible. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You guys are in between covenants. You're, you're all messed up in these in these camps. You're all messed up because you think this is about appeasing the world and keeping your followers and, and saying MOTB and being immature. Well, the the the, all, the the prophets in the first century, they weren't abbreviating prophecies or abbreviating things or trying to keep their place in the world or trying to keep their channel or trying to uh, 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 look a certain way and trying to keep a reputation. A lot of you guys think this is about a reputation. And if you have a reputation in this world and people like you, you're of the world. If you're being honored in this world, you're of the world, man. At this point, guys are of the world. So by being of the world, you will never understand his new covenant. That's why we only teach this for certain guys. And a lot of you guys that don't have forgiveness in your heart, you really don't have love in your heart and you don't have mercy. This is not for you, man. This ain't for you. I don't do this to, to, to get followers and subscribers and to get likes. I don't do this for that. We do this to tell you guys the truth. And I'm going to tell you, man, this truth is evolving every day. Every day is something new. It is something new every day. So a lot of you guys are ashamed of the Gentiles because a lot of you guys have been uh, provoked to jealousy. And that's actually prophecy that a lot of you guys will be ashamed of the gospel. So these camps, if you don't come out of these camps, you're done. Because what they've done, they've really butchered the, the, the doctrine you know they're really they've really butchered the scriptures man and they don't have mercy on the gentiles so they're teaching from a standpoint of hate so they're teaching you they're not in the covenant yet until they get a new body but i'm telling you this you will never get a new body i think i brought out like last week in the book of samuel's it prophesied the lord coming and it said when the lord come uh, Yahweh Shai be a priest to the Lord forever. So when the Lord came in the first century, the new covenant started. And what was so heavy about the new covenant, it is it is not in everybody. So a lot of you guys is just teaching in hate and you're teaching carnal and you think you understand the Gentiles. A lot of you guys, you don't even have an idea what you're teaching. So if you're teaching in hate and, and jealousy and envy, you're you're disqualified. You're disqualified already. And that's what we have, man. We have a lot of guys that are just, they've learned some scriptures from their elders. And, and the thing about it is we got out of that, that worldly camp doctrine shit. And a lot of you guys, you're stuck in that because you think that's what this is about. This is about you being under elders in camp doctrine. This ain't about that. This is about you believing and accepting the Lord on your own in your heart. A lot of you guys are um, 
following uh, camps to destruction. You're following these elders to destruction, man. That's what you're doing. You put too much trust in, in men. You guys put more trust in these elders than you put in the trust in the scriptures, which you have to read this on your own. This is Romans 1 and 16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. A lot of you guys are ashamed that the that certain certain Gentiles can't believe and they can come in. And the, the heavy part about it is that um, a lot of you guys don't understand, but it has happened already that the branches and a lot of our people have been cut off. So this is the last time for them to come back and to teach false doctrine and to teach and hate and to be in envy. You see what I'm saying? So our thing in this time is to help pull a few out of the fire. While you guys continue to teach, teach uh, camp doctrine. That doctrine of waiting on the covenant, the doctrine of there's no hell, the doctrine of the Gentiles can't make it. That doctrine ain't going to get you delivered. That's that's false camp doctrine. Romans 1 and 16, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the anointed. And, and one of the things too, Salakia, I wanna I wanna say Salakia man. <laughs> oh man, it's just crazy, man. Let me let me go. Let me go back to this. What was that? Romans 1. And uh, 16. Yeah, so lucky for that. So the scriptures tell you that basically Paul was telling you that he's not ashamed of the gospel. Why why is Paul telling you that he's not really ashamed of the gospel? Because he understands that the Lord was actually that the Lord grafted in Gentiles that believe. And so the grafting of the Gentiles, that's already happened. There's nothing none of you guys can do about it, but but hate about it and teach a, teach against it and talk about heathens and all that. Well, it's already happened. A lot of you guys have been cut off because due to your doctrine, due to your understanding, you wasn't perfected forever. The scriptures say that certain men were perfected forever. What they were perfected in is their understanding and knowing God. So a lot of you guys, you were not perfected forever. You were cut off. So your your understanding is carnal. A lot of you guys are winging it. You guys are fucking winging it. I heard this video earlier. This guy talking about some um, winging it. This Everything that you guys be saying, you need to apply that shit to yourself. Because you guys in these camps, you can't take correction. You know, it's heavy, man. It's real heavy. Your elders, they can't be corrected. You guys in these camps can't be corrected because a lot of you guys are of Satan. So a lot of you guys are really, under, you're really ashamed of the gospel. That's why you guys hold to the old law because you're ashamed of what the Lord came and did because it don't involve you guys. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Romans 1 and 16, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the anointing for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes to the Jew first. And also the Greek. So Paul came to our people first. And because they was unable to uh, be eligible for eternal life. What did the Lord do? He turned to the Gentiles. Let's go to this real quick. Acts 13 and 46. So you got to really understand what this is saying. So you, you got guys that are teaching and hate and they're telling you that the Gentiles can't make it and they're going to go into slavery and all this. Well, they're not giving you an understanding where the ones that are leading you into captivity, who's leading you into captivity? Our own people. They're leading you into captivity of the old law, holding you under that old law. So that's a form of captive. They're holding you captivity under the old law, telling you that you got to wear old garments and keep the old law to the best of your ability. That is captivity. So a lot of you guys are going to go into captivity. You're going to go down to Sheol. You're going to go down into hell. A lot of you guys that are teaching, you have to come out of these carnal camps. They're carnal, man. These elderly men, they're out of their mind. They're senile. 
Or what, what was that like? Eli, he couldn't. He got to a certain. He got up in age and he couldn't judge judge his sons. And he he he. What he what did he what what did he do? He fell and uh, broke his neck or something. That's the state of these elders right now. They have no real discernment. They're just teaching you certain shit of the world. They don't really understand the Bible like that because this wasn't given unto them. And so what we're telling you is the new covenant is here in certain of us. We're not waiting on anything. Certain Gentiles were already grafted in. That's already happened. So all that guys can do, they can teach against it. You see what I'm saying? They can teach against it. So guys talking about the elect, well, you, you, well, you have, you have no understanding of the elect because if you had the understanding of the elect, you'll understand the doctrine of the elect. So it's real heavy, man. Um, dealing in this time, Acts thirteen and forty six. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, "It is necessary that the word of God shall first have been spoken unto you, spoken to you." But seeing you put it far, but seeing you put it from you, like you guys are teaching me, you need new bodies. It is actual Gentiles right now that are actually believing the covenant is here. They don't believe in that new body shit. They understand that the Lord died already. We don't. Have, we're not waiting on shit. You guys are waiting on something. See, that is the false doctrine that have guys not with the Lord and certain guys with the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So it's really heavy. In this time, what guys are uh, teaching, man, it, it is it is very heavy. So what you got to understand what what Peter, what Paul was was saying right here, it says, then Paul Barnabas waxed bold and said, it is necessary that the word of God shall first come spoke shall have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you like you guys are putting the covenant off and you're waiting on some shit. And this is this is what you guys are doing. You're putting it you're putting it off and you're waiting on something. Not understanding that the, the real elect, not you guys the elect, you guys are the elect of Satan, but the real elect, they're gonna have it in them. And they're not we're not waiting on anything. So that's false doctrine. So a lot of you what you guys are teaching in these camps is for nothing. It's for vain glory. It says being it says, but seeing ye put it off from you. And judge yourselves unworthy. So a lot of you guys in these camps, you're unworthy. Because you're putting the covenant off till you get ready. You see what I'm saying? See how, rep see how proud you guys are? This is why the Lord said, take the Lord's seat. Not to be the most honored. Not to be the top camp. But these guys would tell you they're the top. You know, it's heavy. And it's not about them. But the reason we teach these lessons is to help bring men out of that shit. Because these guys that are teaching in these camps, they're in a delusion. They're in a delusion. They're in a deep sleep. The blind is leading the blind in these camps. And every video that these guys do is going to lead their ass to hell. It's, 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 it's getting them closer to hell. Because these guys have no understanding. And they have no understanding about what this is about. They've been listening to these, uh, these elderly men break the scriptures down wrong for the last 20, 30 years. It's heavy, man. It says, but seeing you put it off from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. So because Paul and them was rejected, what did they do, man? They turned to the Gentiles. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and it got so bad that Paul and them had to turn to the Gentiles. So it's real heavy in this time that the majority of our people look they're demonic. Look, look at the murder rate in Chicago. Look at the murder rate in all these major cities. And really, that's just that's our people. Cause, cause yeah, our people are still under the curses. The elect are not under the curses. The scriptures say that the elect have obtained it. The rest are gonna be blinded. What did the elect? What the rest gonna be blinded? They're gonna be blinded of camp doctrine. They're not gonna be able to understand this new covenant. They're gonna be proud. So another. Another thing is too, if, if you're teaching in hate, if you're teaching in hate, uh, then you have no understanding in this last day. You just have a camp doctrine, or you just a, you just you just you guys are disgruntled because you really don't understand what this is. 
let's go back to this Romans 1 and 16. Romans 1 and 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of the anointing, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So first of all, this new covenant is only to men that actually believe, all right? It ain't to guys that don't believe or waiting on the covenant. It's not. Because the thing about it, guys talking about they're waiting on something, then that shows you didn't never have no faith. That shows you didn't have no faith in the body that you're in. And the Lord said certain men that was purchased with a price, you have to glorify the Lord in your body. So what we're seeing is guys haven't been purchased. Their goal is to show you, is to tell you that they're waiting. <laughs> Man, this is crazy, bro. You got these guys of the world. They're just they're doing all these carnal lessons, and it ain't really getting them anywhere. It says, for is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. All right. So it's all about faith. So what I want to do, I want to go to Matthew 5 real quick. I want to go over these things. Because... Um, a lot of guys are not blessed in these days. A lot of guys are cursed. Uh, the, Paul tells you in Galatians, the first chapter, if they don't bring this doctrine, then they're, they're basically, they're cursed. So a lot of guys are not teaching the gospel that the apostles, the true apostles in Acts, they were teaching. A lot of guys are not teaching that. So a lot of guys are cursed teaching. So you have a lot of guys that are just teaching cursed. And it's heavy because this is the last day. And you have to be able to see that for yourself. Yeah, it's real heavy, man. Guys are just teaching curse, man. It's crazy, bro. It really is, man. So Matthew 5 and um, and 1. This is the Sermon on the Mount. It says, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the pure in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. So, blessed are the pure in spirit. So, you might be poor. And you might not have nothing. But you're in the spirit. And that's who, the, that's who only the spirit can really deal with. Brothers that are in a low state. You're blessed. If you have this understanding, you're truly blessed. Because guys that are exalted in this world, they're proud. So the pride of their heart has deceived them. And the scriptures go into the the the, the talking about the, the high mountains. That, this is talking about men in high seats. Men that are held high in this world, they're proud. So this is what you gotta understand. Men that are exalted, they're they're high. They're high minded. They don't have no understanding. You see, so it's heavy, man. It says, Bless are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Bless are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Right. And the comforter ain't just saying you you have a comforter. The comforter ain't just saying, hey, you have the comforter. It ain't that. It's an understanding. So you could say you have the comforter. And then don't even have the understanding. You see what I'm saying? So you have so many guys that are reprobate. And it's real easy to see if you have the comforter. It's real easy to see if the Lord then gave you back your remembrance. A lot of you guys, the, oh, the only reason a lot of you guys cling to the Bible is because you have something to do with killing the prophets. This is the only reason a lot of you guys are teaching because you have something to do with killing the prophets. It ain't because they... You are actually a minister of the new covenant because the only men that count is the ministers of the new covenant. I mean, the real minister, not guys that that have crept in on the word that really don't have the doctrine. But the, the it only matters the real ministers and the real apostles of the new covenant, the real men that are that have been um, been sent away. A lot of you guys are of Satan teaching and you don't have the fruits of the spirit.
was 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 the main fruits of the spirit is actually love and you guys ain't teaching that you guys ain't teaching that you're teaching the camp doctrine and that doctrine is gonna lead your ass to hell bro for real for real and the thing about it satan too the thing about satan he's blind and deceived and he's leading more men blind and deceived you see what i'm saying that's why the lord said the deceived and deceiver are his the guys teaching that camp doctrine, they're teaching, they're deceived, and then they're teaching more men. And then in the process, they're not freeing anybody. They're keeping you to the old law until you get a new body. It's heavy what guys are doing. Guys don't understand the um the heavy penalty that guys that guys have pending on them in this last day if they don't repent. They don't understand. But it really, it's not meant for them to, un to understand. It's meant for them to keep teaching this false camp doctrine until they as be destroyed. Until they as until until that's it. Because you're gonna be judged off of what you were actually teaching the people. <coughs> meaning, meaning, if you actually understood it, or if you didn't understand it. Salaki. <clears throat> so that's what we're dealing with in this time, man. We're dealing with a lot of guys that are unknowingly and knowingly teaching false doctrine. All right, so let's let's go back to this real quick. It says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The ones that are meek, they're not sitting on no high seats proud. I tell you that. All these guys that are proud, that are high seats and they're generals and they're, they're honored and they're highly esteemed. These guys are not going to inherit the earth. A lot of these guys are of Satan because they've sold their birthright. And this is their kingdom. This is why these guys are do. I don't know how many lessons these guys are doing a day. But it really has nothing to do with the new covenant or 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 salvation. The MOTB is not salvation. The, 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 the MOTB, these guys and all that, that's camp doctrine. That's something carnal that's coming. Guys are not getting you to be spiritual. They're not telling you to have mercy on your enemies. So telling men that the MOTB is coming is not helping men. You help men by help men repenting and teaching men to have mercy on their enemies. But a lot of you guys, you sold your mercy. You sold your birthright, so therefore you don't have mercy on yourself. So now you, therefore you can't even have mercy on your enemies. So guys that are exalted in this world, they are not the meek. Guys that are honored, they are not meek. It says, bless our day which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Right, so if you really want to understand this, you're going to be filled with understanding. You see what I'm saying? Guys that are just doing this to be seen and for YouTube likes and views and, and, and doing this to, to make a name for themselves and a reputation, they were not. They are not going to be filled with righteousness. So right off the bat, you can see the fruits of the spirit are not in camps, because they're telling you to hate Esau, to hate these other nations, to hate the Gooks, to hate the Arab. You know, not understanding that the Lord is going to is going to be dealing with certain remnants of every nation, even certain remnants of our people. The Lord is not dealing with the majority of our people. He's not. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Right? So the only ones that, act, that know God in this time is the ones that are actually pure in their heart. So they're the only ones that understand this new covenant. The rest of you guys are just winging it off of camp doctrine. You guys are really winging it. And you hate us because we have a, a understanding that is over your understanding. 
not to brag or boast, but it's just the truth because you guys are teaching men to hate your enemies and you don't have any mercy. It's in your doctrine. And the way you uh, post men faces on the internet like some worldly shit trying to destroy man's character. That's all of the world. So that, that shows that you guys are of the world. Yeah, I agree with the brother. Guys put more emphasis into putting you up on the screen and, and putting your picture up, trying to make more fun of you. Uh, that's that's what the world does, trying to destroy your character, not understanding that, that we're dead to the world. It don't matter if you guys do that. We're dead to this world anyway. That only matters to you guys that are of the world. You're trying to be, you're trying to keep a clean image for the world. That's what they said in Matthew 11. They was worried about their place in the world. That's you guys. So you don't have no place with the Lord. Therefore, you don't have no understanding. Therefore, you have your consolation. So all you guys are doing is taking down, you're teaching false doctrine and you're leading, you're leading your subscribers and all these guys with you, all these people that are going to come with you. You're not, the elect won't be fooled by you because they're going to come from amongst you. You guys teaching that camp doctrine. Everybody don't believe in that camp doctrine shit, bro. Everybody don't believe in that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're free from that camp doctrine. We don't believe that shit the elders are teaching. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. once upon a time, we thought that, that that was the truth. Yeah, we thought that was. But now we understand that this thing is on a whole nother level. We understand that these elders, they only have a, a inkling. They don't really even have the understanding. These elders were set up to, to, to lead you astray. All these guys in these camps, they're all just leading you astray. And that's just the truth. Because they're teaching in hate. It's heavy, man. It says, Bless are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Bless are they which are prosecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So us brothers that are teaching new covenant and, and guys are hating the new covenant because the new covenant is only what a righteousness is. Because this is this is the priesthood of righteousness. Malak Tazadak, the, the priest, the, the this is this is the, the ministry of righteousness, the king of righteousness. So if you're not in the new covenant, you're not righteous. So if you're being prosecuted for teaching the new covenant, that is that is the right of that is the right of passions. And if you're being loved and honored, then that means you're you're of Satan because you're of this world. Satan is the prince of this world. And guys that are set up on high seas that, that get all the views and shit, a lot of these guys, they're of Satan. Because they're not teaching you to love your enemies and forgive men. Ain't nobody teaching that. Ain't nobody teaching that. And you guys think you understand the Gentiles. You will never understand the Gentiles if you don't have no forgiveness. Until then, you're just going to be scoffing us. But that's fine. It says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and prosecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake, for, for my sake. So we're blessed because God's called all of us all types of names. We, we've had to go through so much fucking hate teaching this new covenant. There's so much hate we've had to go through just teaching this. And so we understand that all that hate that we're getting is from men that really don't have no understanding and they don't have nothing to do with this Bible. They just have picked the Bible up and they don't have no understanding. And a lot of these guys are children of the ones that killed the prophets. So they don't have an understanding, man. They're just teaching. A lot of guys are just good at talking and, and bringing out certain things, but they're not in the spirit. Matthew 5 and 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they prosecuted the prophets which were before you. All right. So you gotta you gotta rejoice, man, when all these guys, these these uh these carnal rejects when they hate you. You gotta rejoice, man. Because this is what they did to the prophets before us, man. To our to our forefathers. We're the sons of the prophets. These guys are the sons are the sons and the murderers of the prophets. It's in their doctrine. You guys are teaching you you're waiting on the covenant. What the fuck did they teach that at? They never taught no shit like that. 
What the fuck did they teach Esau like that? They never taught Esau like that. And I'm going to tell you guys, you guys are, are hating on Esau, but certain of Esau are, 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 are elected to come into this fold and understand this truth and to be delivered. When the majority of our people, they've been cut off. A lot of you guys in these camps have been cut off already. You're just teaching false doctrine. You want men to believe that the, the Gentiles can't make it when all along you reprobates and a lot of you elders in these camps, you're not going to make it just based off your doctrine. So we're blessed in this day because we have mercy and we, we're not teaching this in hate. Most, in, it, most definitely we're teaching this in strength because we don't have weak spirits. You know, we, we weren't set up to have weak spirits. But a lot of you guys are teaching in uh, hate. Because you have that low vibration of envy and jealousy. And the Lord have cut you guys off. So so you're, so you're all you can do is teach false doctrine. Because you don't have the understanding. Men are going to let these old elderly men lead them to their destruction, bro. <coughs> but... Pretty much, that's all I have to uh, say, man. <clears throat> you have to understand this for yourself. And that's 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 what happens. When you come out of these camps, you'll be able to see. But you being in these camps, you being held under this, this false doctrine and this hate doctrine, you will stay blinded. The scripture tells you if if you hate your brother, you're you're in darkness. You can still be in darkness knowing a bunch of fucking information. You can still be in darkness. It's not about information, man. It's about revelations. Repent to the new covenant. With that, hey, Shalom. Moi, du moins ce qu'il en reste. Regardez-moi. Avant que je me déteste. Quoi vous dire? Quelle est l'œuvre du nom? Yeah, yeah. Run it up, Blondo. Run it up, Blondo. Yeah.